Hey everyone, the question here today on your mind is what's the difference between the different printing options? You've got the offset, you've got the thermal, and you've got the inkjet. And today Randall is actually going to help us out. He's the, one of the owners of Molding Box and he's an expert on the different printing options for your CDs and DVDs. So Randall, go ahead and enlighten us three different things, offset, thermal, and inkjet. What's the difference? When do we use which? What's the quality difference? Well, very good question. Now, um, a lot of times if you don't know much about printing or um, if you haven't done a lot with it, then you, you might not know when to use it or who does it or where to find it at. So um, offset printing, that will most often occur when you're getting your CDs replicated. Um, what they use is big rollers that have different um, plates, if you will, that actually offset the images. They'll print one color at a time, print another color on top of it, and another color on top of that. It's a very um, cost-effective way if you're doing large batches of upwards of a thousand um, CDs or DVDs at a time. Offset is um, definitely what they're going to use there. Um, when it comes down to inkjet, um, that is a kind of a lower quality. That is something that a lot of people will do at home for basic one-off or two-off. So it's something that they can buy sheets of labels with. If you're old school, you can buy a sheet of CD labels, run that through your inkjet printer, which is uses your basic cartridges in your um, printer at home where you can print the image on that, slap the label on the face of the CD, um, call it good there. Uh, thermal printing is what a lot of duplicators will use. It's what we actually use here at Molding Box. What that is, it's a better quality than you'll get with uh, inkjet but um, it, it's not as quick and it's not as efficient as a offset printer, but it uses a true CMYK, which is the cyan, magenta, yellow, and black to get you true colors, true blacks, um, prints um, a clear coat on top of that. The reason they call it thermal is because it uses heat to adhere the images directly to the face of the CD itself, so you don't have to worry about color fading, you don't have to worry about smearing or any of that type of stuff. So those are kind of the differences and where you'll find that and who uses them. So hopefully you found that insightful, hopefully it answered your questions here today. So if you did find that helpful, you might find a few other tips and tricks that we have up our sleeves to really help you get the most success out of your digital media product. Um, what we've actually created is something we call the Seven Secrets to Successful Digital Media Production. Uh, like I said, this is kind of a compilation of an audio training CD, which will give you the insight on how to get the most for your money, on how to not spend it on a leg, where to get some good graphics at, and really a, a few insider secrets that we've learned. We want to give this to you for free today. Um, not a lot of them available, they're not growing on trees, so get to our website today, which is www.moldingboxcd.com to request your free sample.